Tonight, new developments in former subway pitchman Jared Fogel's criminal case. Today, his attorneys in a federal appeals court trying to convince a panel of judges to reduce his 15 and a half year prison sentence. And wait until you hear their argument. Call 6 Investigates Rafael Sanchez is working that for us. Rafael? Erica, good afternoon. Both sides had 10 minutes to make their arguments before three appellate judges. And Jared Fogel is in federal prison after admitting to possessing child pornography and traveling out of state to have sex with a minor. So here's the issue. A federal judge in Indianapolis sentenced him to about 16 years behind bars. Fogel is not happy about that because he made a deal with the U.S. Attorney's Office. It spelled out that the government would not seek more than 12 and a half years. The judge did not like the deal and added an extra three years. Fogel's team wants the appeals court to force Judge Tanya Walton Pratt in Indianapolis to reduce his sentence. Let's take you inside the appeals court in Chicago. The sentence, we believe and contend, was erroneously based upon acts that Fogel did not do and were also Fogel's, quote, fantasies, end quote. He had a great family. He had fame. He had success. He had a life free from abuse and neglect. He had no traditional risk, risk factors. He threw all of that away when he committed a wide range of criminal conduct over many years. That makes him more blameworthy, not less. And those are the arguments they went on for about 20 minutes or so. Fogel did not attend the hearing in Chicago. That's because he's currently being held at a federal prison in Colorado so that he can be close to one of his therapists. There's no timetable as to when the appeals court will rule in this case. Todd? 